Hello, and welcome to Storytime Reddit. Today's story comes from r slash surviving infidelity. We have three stories. First up, hurting. Wife continues to cheat, not sure what to do. Second story, was I cheated on by my wife? Third and final story, wife had three-year affair with her college professor. She claimed she was brainwashed by him. Advice. My wife of 10 years can't stop cheating. In 2017, I uncovered two inappropriate relationships she was having outside of our marriage. Pictures, sexting, meeting in person while I was gone for work. I hired a private investigator to confirm a guy was coming to my house while I was gone, and we caught him. I filed for divorce about a month later and lived through probably the toughest time of my life. During this time, we both went to therapy, separately, and I started to have second thoughts about leaving. We have two young children, and ruining their lives seemed almost as bad as the cheating, so I called off the divorce. Since then, my wife has been in therapy on and off, and outside of some typical marital issues, our lives have been normal. Or so I thought. Last month, while having sex, she called me another man's name. We both had been drinking, so I shrugged it off. Another night, after she'd been drinking and had taken an Ambien, she started talking to me like I was another person. Over the Thanksgiving holiday, I calmly confronted her, gave her examples of my reasoning, gave her a specific name. She denied everything. She assured me of her love for me and our family. She kept this assurance going for a few days. Two weeks after this episode, I find out from my kids that the guy I mentioned above had been coming over. I confronted her again, and she admitted to having an inappropriate relationship with him and lying about it. No sex, but sexting and visiting at his house and ours. You'd think this was rock bottom, but it wasn't. We talked and cried for two days. We decided to go back to marriage counseling and make things work. I asked her if there was anyone else. I wanted to make sure all the cards were on the table before trying to repair things. Christmas Day. We were happy. Talking about fixing our marriage and how much we loved each other. I felt insecure, but hopeful we could make things work. She passed out after a wonderful evening with our families, and I decided to look at her phone. Shocking is an understatement. First, I found that she'd been texting the guy mentioned above just hours before telling him how much she missed him and that she wished he was here. She said she just wanted to let him know that she loved him. Second, I find she's also been texting another guy. Sexual texts, missing him, and how she's dying to see him again. This is all while she's proclaiming her love for me and our family. Turns out the relationship with the second guy had been going on for months. Unimaginable sexting discussions, pictures, and plans to meet. She actually did travel hours away from my parents' house to visit her family on two occasions and met up with him. One occasion was during the Thanksgiving trip I already mentioned. There's more. There were other guys in there. Nothing explicit, but definitely inappropriate discussion and talks about seeing each other again. Heartbroken. Confronted her again with evidence. She says there's something wrong with her. <laughs> she doesn't know why she's doing it, but wants to stay together. She says she's never had sex, intercourse, with any of them. What do you do? It seems trust in this relationship is dead. Thinking about my kids growing up in a divorced home is heartbreaking. Is there a disorder that causes this? We have some marital issues, but normal everyday stuff. Stress, kids, money. We are sexually active, very active, and not boring active. What would you do? I love her, but am I a fool? Update. Just wanted to add some additional information after reading the comments thus far. No paternity test needed. We had to do IVF because she can't get pregnant on her own. She is still in therapy and has told her therapist about the other men. She said her therapist has urged her to stop and tell me, but obviously that hasn't happened. She has admitted to other cheating prior to our relationship slash marriage. Basically, that sometime in her mid-twenties, she preferred non-monogamous relationships. She has admitted to being the other woman in affairs prior to our dating. She is a good mother to our children, and they love her dearly. It's obvious what I need to do. She is a serial cheater, addicted to the attention and excitement of being chased. This doesn't make things easier. I thought she was my soulmate. Heartbroken. Seems like a fairly simple problem to solve. Hire a lawyer and file for divorce. Stop being her second choice. You're her safety net while she's out effing randoms. Adults don't just visit, they F. The disorder she has is called morally corrupt broken human syndrome. The course of treatment is learning morals as a young adult.
Second choice. Sounds as if he is her 12th choice or further back. Sounds like he is the ATM. I know when I trade nudes with women that when we finally hook up, we usually only play Uno or Scrabble, but never sex. What would ever give me the impression after hours of sexting that real sex is on the table? Smarten up, friend. LOL, ouch, and yet so true. Unbelievable how this woman will still keep up the lie and bank on her husband's trusting goodwill even when caught and asked for the come clean truth. I'm sorry, I could barely keep a straight face through that one. This poor man, he obviously doesn't want to hear the truth. Now for our second story. Was I cheated on by my wife? A few days ago, my wife showed me something on her phone, and when I looked down, a text notification popped up. It was a man's name, and he was telling her a lot of emotional stuff like, I think about you often, etc. I immediately asked her who that was and what it was about. She told me he was just a friend that might have a thing for her. She insisted it was innocent and that she never lets it go too far. I demanded to know more, and soon I found out it was an ex. We have explicit rules about disclosing relationships and meeting with exes, so right off the bat, this was troubling, and she knew she had betrayed my trust. I asked to see the messages, and she obliged. They were not innocent messages. The two of them were beyond flirtatious. The exchanged heart and kiss emojis they made, sexual innuendos, they even told each other goodnight when going to bed. They would exchange selfies and pay one another compliments. She complimented him in ways that she never does me. She sent pictures of herself that I had never seen and sent him photos of himself she had taken when they were together so they could reminisce about time they had spent together. My heart sank to find out that she had kept up this secret text relationship for a year. I felt a knot in the pit of my stomach. She agreed that what she was doing was wrong, but she says she never cheated and that she would never. She says that she was only in it to feel wanted and pretty and that she was stringing him along for that purpose. I find it hard to believe because in the couple minutes I spent scrolling through their texts, I saw her instigating the flirting and even saying she needed to be careful or she might get herself in trouble. To me, this was a form of cheating. She had a secret relationship with an ex-lover in which she did things she knew were off limits to any married person. She agrees it was wrong, but says I am making too big of a deal out of it. What do you think? Additionally, I am now faced with the impossible decision of how to move forward. I feel like it will be hard to trust her moving forward. I'm worried this incident will change me into a suspicious and insecure husband, and that little by little, over time, it will ruin our relationship. If you have any advice regarding this fear, it is appreciated. This is definitely cheating. At a minimum, she is having an emotional affair. Given that it's been going on for almost a year, it seems nearly impossible that a physical affair has not occurred. I'm sorry you're going through this. I agree. If they're anywhere near one another, I think the possibility of a physical relationship has also happened. An emotional relationship is far more dangerous than just a physical one. At the minimum, that is an emotional affair, and by itself, it is cheating and a betrayal. She is lying to minimize the damage. Keep pressing and she will admit they met for lunch one time. Okay, lunch several times, but no touching. Okay, he kissed her once, but she didn't like it, and it never happened again. Okay, they made out in his car three times. Okay, yeah, she gave him a blowjob once. Okay, maybe they had sex once. Truth will end up they have been sleeping together for a year. It's called trickle-truthing. Literally, my current girlfriend did this, but in the reverse order. It started off with them having sex. And then it was a BJ. Now it's just a hickey. And they made out because she didn't want it to go further. She says she only told me that because she felt bad about what she did and she thought she deserved for me to think she slept with him. Would you believe that? Nope. My new favorite term, trickle-truthing, as if leaving out tidbits of information makes it more believable as you slowly release bit by bit. Some of you might be starting to pick up on a pattern here. And now for the third and final story. Wife had three-year affair with her college professor. She claimed she was brainwashed by him. Advice. Hi, everyone. This is a really hard post to write, but it feels therapeutic to write this out. Hopefully, I can get some advice along the way. My wife and I have been married for almost 10 years. We're both in our mid-30s. A few years ago, she decided she wanted to go back to college and get her master's degree. We both thought it was a good idea. Our married life was great, and we were both very happy. It was the happiest I had ever been. 
When she started going back to school, life obviously got busier because she had more on her plate. After a few months, her behavior started to change. She'd stay out later than normal to study at the university library, or she'd meet up with people from class for various projects. Sometimes she'd forget something at the office and have to go get it, even though it was late. I had a feeling something was off, but I had no proof. Everything she said made sense. Sometimes I would verify things or try to find inconsistencies, but nothing. Everything seemed normal. I just thought I was being paranoid. One Saturday morning, I sat down to check my emails. We share a home computer, which she sometimes uses for homework. I noticed she forgot to log out of her account from the night before. Before logging her out, I see tons of emails from one person. I didn't recognize the name. So I went to her Facebook and Instagram accounts to see if she was friends with this guy. Nope. So I Googled him, and it turned out it was her college professor. He was in his 50s, married, and had three teenage kids. It looked like he was happily married. I was relieved and didn't think much else about it. The email seemed innocent. I remember when I was in college, I emailed back and forth with professors all the time. From then on, I never noticed anything suspicious. Again, I thought I was being paranoid. Some time goes by and life gets easier. She was really hitting her stride with school and she wasn't as stressed or busy anymore. We had more time together and we started building a house. Life was essentially on cruise control. Until the nightmare began. It was a Thursday and I decided to come home early and surprise her because I wanted us to go out for dinner at this new place that just opened. As I was driving down our street, I noticed a car pulling out of my driveway. We passed each other and I immediately recognized the guy. It was her old college professor. So I immediately go inside the house and found my wife standing in the kitchen wearing just a towel. She was so stunned that she didn't even know what to say. Like she was fumbling her words, asking me why I was home. I immediately asked why her professor had just left our house and why was she in a towel? She told me I was overreacting and nothing had happened. So I went straight up to our bedroom and she tries to stop me. When I got to our room, it was obvious what had happened. I told her I was going to contact his wife if she didn't tell me everything. Finally, she broke down and admitted it all. They had been having an affair on and off for three years. She said it started the semester after she left his class, but she claims that she was brainwashed by him and that she didn't really want to do it. She said he was in a position of power, even though he wasn't her professor anymore, and claims she was manipulated into a sexual relationship over a three-year period. It's been a week since I found out. I moved my stuff out that next morning when my wife was at her parents' house and I contacted a divorce attorney. I feel like a zombie. None of this even seems real. My wife has been texting, calling, and emailing me nonstop asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Her family's trying to contact me as well to convince me to give her another shot. Today, I finally blocked her on everything and her family. Fortunately, I have a great support system and everyone has been super helpful. I'm going to schedule an appointment with a therapist next week so I can get the ball rolling. I know it will take time to heal and I know I deserve better. Sorry for the long post. I really needed to get this off my chest. She's completely full of shit. She's an adult and made these choices on her own. Keep the divorce proceedings going and be sure to contact the professor's wife. You should post on survivingitfidelity.com. You will get a lot of great advice from them. OP. I feel like I should contact his wife as well, but I don't have any proof. My wife said they only communicated via Snapchat. You can get proof from your soon-to-be ex-wife's side. Get her to admit to cheating with the professor in text, etc., and send them all to his wife. OP. Good idea. You guys are right. I will definitely let his wife know. She's a victim in all of this as well. Brainwashed by the D? Laugh my ass off. That's a new one. OP. Hell of an excuse. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. She's 20 years too old for the brainwashing excuse. This was more likely for extra credit. I'm just thinking back, and I bet she did hit her stride in college. And I bet she really enjoyed it when he was in a position of power. If you've enjoyed the story and would like to hear more, consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. I hope you'll come again soon. Bye for now.